you guys this is Tyler with Tyler's Dragon Tarot. So I had someone request Virgo and Taurus, so I'm gonna knock that out real quick. Uh let me get into the energy. So this is another highly passionate um couple stuff. That doesn't resonate, that doesn't resonate. By the way, this could be um for any Virgo and Taurus placements, see if it resonates, but like Virgo is just like, damn, I want you, and they want you bad. They want Taurus bad, like, like, damn. I um, I don't know how explicit I can get on YouTube, but let's let's just say the shit that went through my body. I was just like, okay, <laughs> you want it, Taurus? Oh, damn. Okay. Anyway, let's get into Taurus, and then it's just kind of like you want to come and get it type of thing, and um, it's just like this flirty energy, but. Like, super passionate, like, very physical type of relationship. But I'll go ahead and draw some cards. Virgo, this is cute, but it's also, like, uh, almost like a, it's almost too much. And let me explain. With, like, the King of Pentacles, I just heard, like, I'll give them anything. Like, that's great. Just make sure that they're all, you're not the only one giving. You're not the only one participating in the relationship. Like, you, you want to spoil, that's, that's amazing. Make sure you you're appreciated, make sure you're happy, like, and you're not just giving to someone who's, like, mm. like, that, that energy just, it scares me a little bit that if you would be in that energy, just because that energy can be easy to take advantage of, but I really, I really hope that, like, that's not the case here. It, it's just, like, with this Six of Pentacles, I just see this as, like, a, <laughs> you weren't expecting anything. You weren't trying to get anywhere. You weren't even trying to date. Like you didn't see this person like it, as anything like that, and something along those lines. And it's just like your eyes just met, and it's it's one of those cheesy moments where it's like I want to get to know you better. Like it's just like a moment that happened, and like ever since then, like. This King of Swords just has this real, like, yes, that's my person. Like, real upfront, real honest communication about it, and you're just, like, my person. Like, I, we're going to make this work. Like, very devoted type of feeling, because even with this moon, it's just, you really understand how you feel about this person. Like, you care very deeply about this person, about the Taurus, and you're just, and you kind of, this is kind of daydreaming to me, this moon card, and it's just, there's just this real quality of like you're you're seeing into the future with this person, and that's probably why you have this whole energy of like I'll give them whatever they want, and we're gonna get into Taurus energy. God, I hope it's reciprocated if you have that energy because like <laughs> you deserve it to be reciprocated or appreciated or you deserve to be happy. Really is um what I'm trying to say. What the Taurus energy. <laughs> Like, this cute, like, Six of Pentacles energy here um, that I was talking about earlier. I With this Three of Pentacles that came on to the um, Taurus side, I don't know how well you can see this card, but, like, the middle guy is biting his lip. I've never noticed that before, but I'm just, like, he planned that out, and he's just biting his lip, like, biting his tongue, like, waiting for the right moment to strike, and he's just like, mm, I'm into you, like, we got the magician, like, manifesting your ass. Like, this is what I want. This is who I want to be with. And, like, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I'm not usually this, like, upbeat. And, like, I'll say it how it is. So, like, make sure this resonates. Because, like, this may not be every Virgo Taurus re relationship. Um, but it's just... This real celebration of, like, yes, it worked. Like, that's exactly what I want to be. Like, I just feel like jumping up and down type of energy. Just really excited. Just really excited to be happy with you and just kind of proud of themselves. And I just heard it is reciprocated, so they give back. And since one giving was, like, a king of pentacles and one giving is, like, a nine of cups type of thing. And nine of cups is usually, like, your own happiness type of thing, but... Um, so I feel like it's in a healthy way, but at the same time, cups versus pentacles, you may be more of a tangible giver, give her, giver, um, and they may 
meet more like of an emotional need type of thing. It doesn't have to be, but that's just kind of where I was picking up off, off of those. Um, ooh, wrong deck. So let me pause. So we got the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Like both just, like that King of Cups is really like, come here, like, like I'm all about you type of energy <laughs> with it. And the Knight of Wands is just like rushing forward, like, yes, type of thing. But in the middle, we got the Devil. Um, the Four of Wands and the Star. So this is what one of <laughs> manifesting energy on this side again. I just noticed that. But it's like this may be what you're manifesting. And this probably feels very solid. But there, this devil just has a warning of trying not to become too dependent on the other person. Like a warning of like don't become codependent. Like interdependency is great. But like codependency is just like yeah, let's not uh let's not do that. And it's just kind of like a worrying about there's also an element like take whatever resonates here, but the devil also has an element to me of like being really anxious because of high hopes in the past for one or both of you. Um so it's like this whole like, okay, this is like too good to be true. When's it all going to fall apart? But both of you do really want to participate in this relationship. I feel like there's more cards to draw, so let me pause real quick. Okay, with this Empress card, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Swords, I think this is kind of tying into the Devil, um, and this may be more for the Virgo side, but I feel like you're really love-struck, and you're giving so much out of fear of losing another person and this could end up draining you so that's kind of the like whole codependency thing give because you want to give because it makes you happy to make them happy um but don't relate like giving to them and making and exhausting yourself to keeping the relationship because you if you still need to be able to get away like you shouldn't be in fear that if you're not constantly doing something for them, that they'll break up with you. That is something you'll have to work through. Um, have confidence in the connection. And because if you're constantly putting in this effort, that will drain you. Like, relationships should have effort, you know, but you don't want to overexert yourself either if that's making sense. Like, if, you, if you're drained and just need some time to yourself, but... You don't give it to yourself out of a fear of, like, them leaving you. Then, like, you're kind of, you're not really enjoying bringing them the happiness that comes from, like, the nurturing that you give. And that can lead to you not wanting to do it as much. So, just make sure that you're not letting fear control you in the way of, like, giving. Because I feel like you're a really giving person, but at the same time, you may be overdoing it because you're like, oh, if I try to get a day off or just a day to myself to relax, like, they're going to leave me. Like, don't, if they leave, then they weren't worth it. You know what I mean? Like, don't overexert yourself because of that. Um, anyways, I... I feel like that is the conclusion of this reading. Hopefully it helped. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if it resonated, that's great. If it didn't, I'm sorry it didn't resonate. Uh, maybe one of my other readings will. I'm also on TikTok, so I put out videos on there more regularly, th regularly than I do on YouTube. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for the request, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comments, um, subscribing. Like I really appreciate that stuff, and have a great day.